Welcome Scorpio, I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and your Oracle reading for the week of April the 22nd to the 29th, 2019. I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and most of all, subscribing to them. Please click the bell button next to subscribe and you'll get notified immediately when these go out on YouTube. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card will not resonate with every single Scorpio out there. If it does, run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. Please be aware that I am still booking into May for my Pay It Forward $30 reading for 30 minutes, regularly $75. So there's a few spots available if you want to have a live or a video reading with me. Go up and click that icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will direct you to my website. Okay Scorpio, here we go. Your all over energy here for this week is the Six of Fire, better known as the Six of Wands. This is all about victory. This is all about good news coming in. This is all about accomplishments coming into you, abundance coming into you, being able to successfully handle a situation and move forward with it. It's almost like you're going to get public recognition. People are going to notice a change in you. People are going to say, oh, wow, things are finally coming around, full circle for you. You look great. So it's, it's, some of you may be actually receiving an award for something that you have put a lot of effort and time into. So this is time for victory. This is time to celebrate, my beautiful Scorpio. So know that there will be good news coming on its way for you that will make you feel like victory's arrived. Beginning of the week, you've been given the Five of Water, better known as the Five of Cups in traditional tarot. And this is the card that I talk about, crying over spilt milk, okay? Uh, you know, looking at your losses, not realizing that you still have some, uh, some cups to fill behind you, uh, you know, thinking that you can't move forward, uh, feeling defeated, uh, you know, things aren't turning out the way that you had hoped, and you're not seeing the positive in this situation. So, it's very easy to wipe up spilt milk, you just... There it is, wiped up. So don't dote so much on your losses. Don't allow fear to lead you on the path, Scorpio. Realize that you still have gifts there to fill. And don't look the gift horse in the mouth. Count your blessings. Crowning, uh, crowning your week, you've got the Four of Air in Angel Tarot, and it is the Four of Swords. This sh showed up in another reading this, uh, this week as well. And it's all about you taking time to process something, think about something, analyze something, and look at it from a different uh, angle. This is about you taking time to rest up, okay? Not charging in, doing things in moderation, all right? Compromising. Allow more time before making a decision right now. Don't jump into it, okay? Make sure you do your research, you dig deep to make sure that you've got all the information you need before if you're signing something legal, if it's a notarized legal document. Or if you're, you know, you're writing a check, if you're buying a big item, whatever. Make sure uh, you know everything that you need to do before making a decision. Now, if you, and you know, it shows me that some of you are so tired, you just want to go and run away and have a holiday, and you know, go into escapism and forget any stressful situations or challenges. But you know what? You may not be able to do that right now. You may not have the time, effort, or resources to actually take a physical holiday. But you know what? You can go and take yourself anywhere you want when you meditate. So go within the silence. Go wherever you want to go, whether it's in nature, whether it's out on the beach, wherever it is, if it's in your bath, uh, you know, whatever it is, or a special room you like to go to, your safe room, your peaceful room, uh, your meditation room, and do that. Because we often get, uh, you know, meditation may provide you with the answers that you're seeking here while you're thinking about it. Because I'm telling you something, Scorpio, you got the King of Earth. This is a Midas Touch card, and it is the King of Pentacles. And Pentacles are all about, you know, abundance and, and being grounded and, you know, going in a new positive direction. And often it has to do with starting fresh, and, and, and often money is involved in here. So this is a successful time. We talked about victory, the all-over energy here, hearing good news uh, coming into you. And now it's a successful time. I want you to realize that you need to accept any opportunities or any um, proposals coming in, offers coming into you. And do it confidently because this is the Midas Touch card. You can't, you're going to land on your feet coming up smelling like a rose no matter what you do. This is one of the best cards in the deck. 
So abundance coming into you, my dear Scorpio, it could be in the form of, you know, your home life, your personal life, relationship life, your finances, whatever it is that you're manifesting, keep continually doing that. Move forward on your path. Now, Scorpio, let's see what we have here in additional energy with the Lennerman deck to add to this reading. Let's see what we have. So I'm going to shuffle these a little bit better now. Okay, let's see what we have here. I need three cards. There's one. Okay. There's two. Thank you. And I need one more, please. There's three. Boy, they're flying out of the deck here today. Oh, that's come up before, too. Okay, so your very first card here, when you're crying about spilt milk, okay, be careful, okay? There may be someone coming into your circle. He's very crafty. He has survival skills, and he's learned to be uh, quick, swift, and slick, okay? And, you you know, you might be running into someone that, you know, uh, has brought this energy into you about you feeling like you've, you're missing an opportunity. Well, you know what? Watch out for this wily, uh, this wily fox. Someone's coming into your circle. They may already be, be, be in your personal circle. And don't trust them, okay? They have the ability like this, uh, this fox does to hide during the daylight under the bushes and then it, under the stealth of the night and the moon he gets into the gets finds a little hole to weasel his way into and get into the chicken coop and get the eggs or the chickens so someone out there may not be completely honest with you they may be the wolf in sheep's clothing so keep your eyes open for someone that isn't completely honest okay you're getting a gift though you know while you're sitting there thinking about something someone's going to come in and offer you something it's maybe their it may be their um their attention it may be their affection it may be their heartfelt advice uh someone may be coming in here and helping you to uh to make this decision that you need to make and stop letting things bother you because you got the Midas touch here don't let things yeah, eat away at you uh, this could be someone here that's correlating to uh, this person that's sneaky. You may feel like someone's taking something from you. Someone has stolen something from you. Or it can be the energy that some of you are feeling, allowing it to gnaw away at you. So don't let negative energy do that to you because it blocks you on your forward movement, momentum, on your path to go in a new direction. So please do not allow this type of negative energy to needle and gnaw and, and bother you and get up into your headspace. But some of you may feel that someone's taken something from you here. Okay, so be careful if they're not honest. Now, your, well, just gets better and better because we talked about this abundance card. You got abundance from the answers from the angels. And this is amazing because we talked about this here with the Midas Touch card, with the King of Water, the King of, the King of Cups, uh, things working out in your favor. Okay, abundance, great abundance will find its way into your life. Your plans will yield prosperity, providing a sense of security about the future. Your angels will be with you as you take action necessary to manifest your dreams. Abundance is not always financial in nature. You may be seeking to manifest new ideas, a large circle of friends, a vibrant, uh, you know, a vibrant good health, all right, or romantic love. This card can also reflect an inflow of any other types of treasures in your life. Open your arms to heaven to receive with gratitude from the universe that which you desire. Abundance coming in. We talked about this. We talked about this at the end of the week with the King of Earth, the King of Pentacles. Things coming in, being able to manifest what it is you want. Someone here may be bringing you in this gift to help you uh, make that choice and decision. But just be careful. Be careful of this person here because I think whoever's coming in here, they may be a bit sneaky, okay? They may be a bit sneaky and they may be uh, not honest. They may be taking something away from you. Could be your power. Okay, you have been given the owl from the mystical wisdom deck. This is all about following your own intuition, you know, your own wisdom. So you hold within you some of the qualities and traits of the owl. You may have fine-tuned your intuition abilities, that sense of inner knowing. Or you may have become strong-willed, perceptive, and wise. Learn from the silence of the owl's spirit, which offers lessons of stealth and poise in our everyday lives. If you are about to take on a business venture or let go of some parts of your life that are no longer relevant, it is important that you become more observant. You cannot fool the owl. He is aware of his surroundings at all times. With this message, you can follow your goals to prosperity and heed these qualities to live your life and your dreams. So, I mean, you got abundance, okay? Uh, don't let things bother you so much. You've got the Midas touch. I mean, you got victory here. This is all good news, Scorpio. So, uh, just keep your eyes open 
for people who aren't completely honest, someone that might be taking something away from you. Don't cry over spilt milk. You still have cups to fill. You're going to take time uh, to get over something here that, uh, you know, you had to make a decision about, okay? And you'll, you'll get help from, from a man coming in, offering you some help. Okay. My beautiful Scorpios, this is your reading for April the 22nd to the 29th. I'll see you again soon and always know that I stand only in this circle of love and light for you.